The Singer Heavy Duty Sewing Machine actually has two blind hem stitches. One that is actually a stretch blind hem. It's the one with the little zigzags between the bites that jump to the left. Now, and the one next to it would be for like regular woven fabric, which is what I'm gonna show you. It's gonna have straight stitches between those bites. Now, don't get this one and the next one confused. The one that bites to the right is the one that's an overlock stitch. And we've done videos on how to use that stitch and where to, uh, all the different projects you can do with that. So let's do blind hem. Let's lengthen the stitch length. I'm gonna start about almost two, and that'll determine how many stitches are in space between the bite of the blind hem. So if you've ever done a blind hem, so a hem is folded in, and then it's actually folded back. If you've done it by hand, you have taken a little tiny stitch in this fold. So you don't want them really close together, you want them spaced out. That will be the determination of what the stitch length will be. Let's go ahead and do our stitch uh, width, somewhere between three and four, just to kind of get us started. And normally I'm used to doing this with a blind hem foot. There'll be a foot with a guide that would keep us nicely hugged along this folded edge uh, that would be available to you. Check the links below this YouTube video where you can buy extra Singer feet. But I wanna show you how you set up to guide this fabric properly just using the standard presser foot. So because this machine is mechanical, we don't actually know where it is in the stitch formation. So turn the hand wheel by hand. I can tell my needle's kind of off to the right, so it's still stitching forward stitches. Oh, and then we're waiting for it to jump over to the left. Now, sometimes it's not that quick. Sometimes I'll take a couple stitches, one, two, three, and then it jumps. But you need to hand turn until that needle is ready to jump and hovering over there on the left side. If I said right earlier, I meant to the, to the left. Okay, so now with that, move the fold. Remember, we wanna just take a little tiny bite in the fold. Move the fold so it's directly under that needle. And when you sink that needle down, it should go into the fold. So you can kind of see the fold is just off to the side of the center kind of cut out on the foot. So if you sew and just kind of watch where you are guiding it, that's gonna be the trick just as you kind of come on down here. Um, that's where the blind hem foot would have a little guide for you to follow. But we're gonna kind of do it, kind of like winging it here. So when it's done, let me show you what you are looking for for a successful blind hem. Okay, so we are done. So this is what it looks like on the back side. And then those little bites, that's what was keeping our blind hem. Actually, kind of happy with how that, that actually worked out, worked out good. So the goal is, is that you take a very small bite all the way down the fabric and consistent. So they're not too big, but they're not too small that it doesn't catch the fabric at all. Next, if I didn't have pink thread on my white fabric, this would have actually blended in if I had matched my thread. It would have been just perfect. Sure beats doing it by hand, right? That would have taken a lot longer. Now, also, now that I see what my stitch length is, I could probably go by lengthening it out and spreading these stitches or these little bites out just a little bit. So my stitch length was about two. I could easily go up to two and a half, maybe even as long as three, especially if I had a little head your fabric, but look how flat that is. That's the goal with uh, what you're working with. To help keep those stitches consistent in size, I know I've got some that are a little smaller, some that are a little bigger. That's where that blind hem foot with the guide that we could have just kept the fabric, hugged against it, and then we would have just been all perfectly even stitches all the way down the fabric.